Hi, it's Eric with Mimosa. Today I'm going to show you our two new Mimosa Sector antennas, the N545X4. It's a 19 dB gain antenna, but we get an additional 3 dB gain due to beam forming. It's a four port N, and this is the size. The second sector is the N545X2 dual port, about 15 inches tall. This is 19 dBi right out of the box. We can actually take two of these and go into a single uh, A5C, or we can take the single four port X4 and go to the A5C. Now the N545X4 can only be used for with the A5C Mimosa radio. However, the X2, this could be used with any third party five gigahertz access point. Okay, now we'll show you how to put this together. We need a 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and 15 millimeter uh, wrench. Okay, first we'll make sure the Mimosa logo's up. And then I'll take the elevation bracket. I'm gonna place this on top. We'll take our 13 millimeter nuts and put these down here. And the lower bracket. We'll take our 13 millimeter wrench and we're gonna tighten these brackets down, these nuts down. So I'm gonna take the 10 millimeter smaller screws and we'll attach these first to our brackets. Like this. Now I've brought these down to near zero elevation here. Near zero on the upper bracket. I've got some play in it like that. Okay, next we'll take the other part of the bracket and I'm going to insert the long bolts. We're going to use a 15 millimeter at this point. I open up the bolts so that we get an average pipe opening like this. But. Okay, we're going to take the X2 and put it on the pole now. I'm going to put the top on first. Now, here's the trick. you got to keep the top happy while you're doing the bottom. Bring this in. Bring this up. All right. So our X2 antenna has a 45 degree slant polarization, 2 degree electrical down tilt, a frequency coverage of 4.9 to 6.4 gigahertz, and side lobe rejection of a horn antenna in the coverage of a sector and a 43 dB front to back ratio. Okay, so I'm gonna take our LMR 240 jumper. It's got a nice new weather boot on it or gland. Now we'll be careful to not cross thread the male end onto the female end. And note up here at the top, now I've, I've taken both connectors here, both jumpers and and have straddled this, this particular pipe in this example. We had to straddle to avoid bending, uh, keeping a reasonable, we don't really need the bend radius here, but we we'll keep a, a reasonable uh, straight line from the coax without damaging it. And so for here, I take it and do some stress points on some zip ties. We have a, we could actually cover the field like this, 45 degrees and an additional 45 for a 90 degree pattern. All right, so here's the X4. This, uh, we have the option of just using this by itself with the A5C. So we could take the four ports, go right into our A5C. Uh, and again, we hit the additional 3 dB beam forming. So for a total of 22 dB. All right, so there you have it. Dual X2s into an A5C or a single X4 and do the A5C. If you have any more questions, contact our support team. Go to mimosa.co.